all the time. We have been uh, given today, we have been presented with the beautiful parable, the parable of the lamp. And this reminds me of a story uh, given. A father gave a task to his three sons, and he gave this task to find out who is the wisest among the three who deserves to take over as the heir as we have been following the issues of the the, the British monarchy uh, about the monarchy after the death of the queen uh, the firstborn son takes over as the king and so this uh, father wanted to find out that who deserves who merits not just by being the firstborn but who merits by application of a wisdom of uh, who is the wisest in the task, any task that is given, who will do the task with the best way possible, making the right decisions. And so the three sons were told, were given a room and were told to fill that room with whatever would make sure that every corner of that room is full. So the first son took boxes, looked for many boxes, and filled all the boxes in the room. But the father came and said, there are still spaces uh, towards the top where the roof comes, uh, where the, uh, at the top of the roof, there were still some empty spaces. So the boxes did not fill uh, the room. The second son carried sacks of maize and everything, all sacks of everything and piled them into the room, and still the room was not full. And the third son, who many seemed not to be serious, many saw that he was the one taking things rightly. He just picked a candle, went into the middle of the room, and put it on. He lit that candle. And the father said that this is the one who has done who has completed the task, who has given the best solution, because light filled the, the entire room. Every corner, every dark corner was ruminated by the candle. So similarly, coming to this example, that when you light up a candle or a lamp, you don't put it under the bed or under the table, you put it on the table that it may ruminate the entire room. Similarly, our lives, we need to ruminate our lives. And when we ruminate a room, for instance, as we were coming in the church in the morning, it was a bit dark, and so we need to put on the light. And wherever we ruminate our rooms, whenever we ruminate this, uh, whichever room that we enter, we realize that we see even what may be unseen. The darkness that is in that room, whenever you just switch on the lights when you enter a room, uh, the darkness is dispelled from that room. And going around, you'll find dust in the corners, you'll find cobwebs in the corners. And so, light, the light of Christ, helps to illuminate our lives, that we may see the cobwebs that we may see the darkness in our lives, that we may see the dust in our life. And by seeing that dust in our life, we may create it. So Christ is teaching us this morning that him being the light, as he says himself in the Gospel of John, I am the light of the world. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And similarly, light dispels the darkness. Light dispels the darkness of the society, the darkness of our world today. And so, may we be the light of our world today, dispelling the darkness, the darkness that brings uh, lies that are concealed. And as Christ says, all that is hidden will be manifested. So, let us pray this morning that we may be led by the light of Christ, by the truth of Christ, 
Let us come before Christ with our hearts open because he enlightens our life. And we begin mass by saying, let us open up our lives. Let us reflect from the depths of our hearts in any way that we have wronged God, that we may be cleansed of our sins, that we may celebrate this mass in a worthy manner. Let us begin our day not darkened. Let us be people of the night. Let us be people who are renewed. Let us be people who are facing the truth of the society. Let us not be people who are uh, concealing or people who are misread by the lies of the society. Let us embrace the truth and let us, by coming to this Mass, by celebrating the Eucharist, by listening to the Word of God, may it ruminate our lives. And the moment we are ruminated, let us go and ruminate the entire world. Let us remove the darkness in our society, the darkness in our world today. So let us pray today that we may be the light to the world that is dark. Tuombe siku hia leo, tuwe muangaza. Muanga wa Christu uangaze, the memory, taking us back to Easter. May the light of Christ ruminate our lives each and every day. Tumsifu Yesu Christu.